Going from a poor childhood to being one of the world's most known dancers is a hard task to achieve. Anna Pavlova was able to succeed and introduce ballet to places around the world that have never seen ballet before. Anna Pavlova was born January 31st, 1881 in St. Petersburg, Russia. Her family was very poor. Her mother was only a spinster and her father had died when she was only about two years old. She attended Sleeping Beauty at age eight, which sparked her interest in dance. She attended the Imperial School of Ballet at age 10. She was just born at the perfect place and time for dancers with any talent. She was one of the most celebrated dancers of her time. She danced the Dying Swan in 1909 for Digliev's Ballet Russes. She left the Imperial Ballet in 1913 to teach and dance in her own company. Her company studied Polish, Russian, Mexican, and Indian dances in particular. Her husband was Victor Dondre, who managed the entire company. She was said to have danced gracefully and poetically. Towards the end of her life, she was under a lot of pressure and her technique started to go away. In 1920, she housed refugee orphans. She had a very kind heart and cared for lots of animals. She was famous for popularizing the idea of ballet in places that have never seen it before, like South Africa. She died January 1931 in the Netherlands. <laughs>